Hey guys, Hanabe you received a nice buff in the latest update, so I wanted to give her a try. I was waiting for my teammates to request for their heroes, but since nobody was requesting, I just picked Hanabi. But then, the adversary picked an extremely disturbing composition, especially against an immobile marksman like Hanabi. I knew from the start I would have a tough time. I was hoping my allies would win their lanes. Five seconds till the enemy. So in this one, I will be facing their marksman in a 1v1. This is good because I could get some farm. I was able to win the early trades. As long as I don't get stunned, I can easily handle Moskov. I heard somebody taking the crap, so I thought Moskov was trying to take it. But that was a bait. Did Johnson intentionally hit the crap because he knew I would check the map? If that was the case, that was extremely smart. 1v1? That was my wishful thinking. Johnson just decided to stay bot. I knew Johnson would try to last hit me with his stun, but I saw our team coming, so I wanted to bait him. I will die if he managed to land his stun. I'm going to keep my distance. And this when Fanny will get out of hand. Moscow doesn't have mana, so I decided to keep exchanging blows with him. But of course, once again, Johnson decided to come to the bottom lane. And I'm already getting blamed for everything, even though we lost our other lanes as well. Interesting. But to be honest, Hanabi is not the most optimal pick against her team composition. But to be fair, nobody was requesting, so I had to pick her before I could see their composition. Winky face. They just keep putting pressure in my lane, which is definitely the right decision. They really want some of Hanabi's nuts. Johnson is about to respawn, and I could already see his pattern. Guess where he's planning to crash when he respawn. Hold out, and we can win. I don't want to. There he is. 
initiate retreat. Just show me an umbrella and see what happens. An ally has been slain. Oof, that was really close. Our turret has been destroyed. Bruh. This Johnson is literally stalking Hanabi. Like I said, quite a tough early to mid game we had. Their Fanny is dead, I wanted to steal her blue buff, because without it, there's one less hero we have to worry about. chang -Ul has ultimate, she could have easily stolen the blue buff. Well, at least it was Selena the one who took it. No way I could solo farm when the enemy has Johnson and Fanny. The only way I could farm is when the lanes are pushed and we are holding hands. You might think we are losing so badly because of me, but later you will see that was not the main culprit.
Now the enemy is starting to act overly confident. But we are far from making a comeback, they still have a huge lead. Every time Johnson is driving, I need to hide behind a turret. I saw Fanny coming, I knew she would most definitely try to go for me first, so I decided to retreat until she changes target. Things are starting to look extremely dicey. I need to pay extremely close attention to the map and my positioning because of Johnson. Moscow thought he could take down the turret extremely fast and then kill me next. But he completely underestimated Hanabi's damage. This fan is pretty good, even without her blue buff, she managed to do that. Well, now we have lost all our inhibitors, one single mistake and we'll end up losing the game for sure. I need to make sure I always stay behind and don't get caught by Johnson's ult, Fanny's combo, Selena stun and Yuson ult. Well basically their whole team. XT. Three of the enemies are dead, this is a good time to take the Lord. Not gonna lie, but this tea grill is pretty godly. Oh, now it makes sense why Johnson kept chasing my nuts. Actually, I can't 
I saw Johnson driving this way, so I decided to stop pursuing, because if I die, the game will pretty much be over. Gotta wait until Yuson is done with his ult before I join the fight. I don't want to get comboed to death by him and Fanny. Quite unfortunate that they were able to steal the Lord. My teammates are trying to fight them in their jungle, but the most imperative issue right now is the Lord, and our bottom lane is getting pushed. We need to defend first. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks. Thanks.